All right, now in this final video, I'd like to talk to you about um, when you first get started in the business. There's an excitement level, you're motivated, there's new information, you're learning all this, and you're excited about it, and you're, 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 you're gearing up to actually apply it and get the results. Now, the biggest thing that we, uh, we do when we get started is we have an expectation of what we want to accomplish. Um, in our mind and we put our goals down like what you should have done in, um, in uh, the previous modules have all your goals down and, and, and pressing forward and what to do some of you in the Academy already they're already putting out banded signs and, you know mail letters and talking to sellers and talking to whatever but what happens is we get um, we get all this information we rush to put start putting it out and 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 we have an expectation of what we want to accomplish and we're either going to achieve or you know, surpass that expectation, or we're going to fall short of that expectation. Now, when I first got started in the business, I went out in my first three weeks, I went out and made $11,008. And I literally knocked on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of pre-foreclosure doors, which I'm not going to teach, believe me. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a lot of simpler methods on how to go out and uh, get motivated sellers to call you. But anyways, but I made $11,800. The second deal I went out, and I made $2,000, which was by the skin of my teeth. I did everything wrong. I actually gave the uh, seller a $1,000 cashier's check, which you're never supposed to do. I uh, didn't use any out clauses in my contract, which you're never supposed to do. And uh, I was still able, luckily, to, uh, to turn around and flip that property and make $2,000. Um, it could have went really, really bad on my second deal, and that could have been uh, devastating. Um, but what happened was after that, I didn't make a check. I, I couldn't find a deal for a while. I mean, I was getting frustrated. I was like, what, you know, there, there's gotta be, what am I doing wrong? And I started beating my head against the wall because I, I, you know, I was, I was talking to sellers. Um, I was knocking on people's doors. I, I was trying to, you know, to, to put deals together that, that just didn't work. A lot of deals that came in were, were they either upside down or they didn't have significant equity. I didn't know about subject to investing at the time, didn't even know that existed. I was just looking for properties with deep discount uh, that I could get under contract. Well, I, I started getting frustrated and there was, a, there was a point where I almost quit. Um, and I almost quit and I almost gave up on my dream. I almost said, forget it, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I was not gonna, I was doing everything I thought I should have done and, and I just gave up. And see, it was a test. It was a test to see how bad I wanted it. And I, I, I revert back to the story of uh, in Think and Grow Rich, which, which if you haven't read yet, you've gotta read, it's a phenomenal book. And in Think and Grow Rich, there is a gold miner who went out and bought all this equipment. He moved out to California with his family and he started digging for gold. And he dug and he dug and he dug and he didn't find anything. He dug for months. He dug for, dug for uh, I don't know if it was months or years or whatever, but he went and he had all the equipment, he had everything he needed and he just was going nuts. Digging every single day looking for gold. And he came to a point where he didn't gather new information, he didn't regroup, he didn't stop and think about, okay, listen, you know, let me get back to the basics and focus on, okay, what am I doing here? And he decided to give it all up and he quit. The guy quit. And he sold his equipment to pennies on the dollar uh, to someone that came along who did a, a small little test in, in, in like a little seismic whatever, you know, in the earth. And he found out if he shifted three feet over and started digging there, then he might find gold. So what he did, he, he shifted three feet over, he started digging and bam, he hit the largest gold vein in California history because of three feet. Now, imagine being that person that quit. How would they feel? They're like, oh my God, what am I thinking? Three feet, I could have been done. Imagine being that guy digging for a year and not finding anything. Well, in this business, it, it kind of puts you to the test. It's gonna put you to the test. So part of this intro series of module one and module two is understanding and, and acknowledging the fact that this is different. You're, you're, you're learning the business and there might be a point in time, it might not, might be a point in time where guess what? It's gonna test you to determine how bad you want to succeed. And there'll be a point, just like for me, there was a point where I was gonna quit and I couldn't get a deal. Well, guess what? I regrouped. I figured out, okay, listen, where would motivated sellers be looking? So I decided to place a little tiny ad in a jobs newspaper. 
um, you know, people looking for jobs. I think it was like Job Examiner or something. A little jobs new paper, newspaper. So I put that ad in there. It was cheap. It cost me next to nothing. And, uh, and my phone rang with a gentleman who inherited a property. Um, and he inherited it years ago. Um, and it was all boarded up. It was all beat up. It was nasty. And I went over to the house. And it was, you know, it was terrible. And I said, hey, I'll give you $43,000 for it. And he said, okay, I signed a contract right there on the spot. I got all the paperwork needed to get together to uh, get the property sold. They opened up escrow on it. Remember, it didn't have a dime into it. Opened up escrow on it. And then I turned around and I found a buyer for $73,000. And in that one transaction, I made $29,000. And that literally changed. Not, I mean, the $11,000 check was great, but the $29,000 check, that was unbelievable for me. I was, are you kidding me? So that, and I, I basically pressed through the uh, the anguish of not finding a deal and and just push through it and uh, and had that success and found it. So what I'm going to tell you is this: is that you will hit a point when you are uh, at a decision point where you might have to quit, or you're thinking, you oh, holy cow, you want to quit. Well, what's going to happen is this: is that if you quit, you'll never be able to get that big check. You'll never be able to get your accomplish your goal. And, uh, and I don't want that for you. I want you to get success and I want you to, or to have it, but I want you to realize that there will be a point where you're gonna hit that test. And if you can plow through that obstacle and you can make that obstacle submit to you by overcoming it, um, you will get more success than you've ever dreamed possible. And uh, I wanna recap that in, that, uh, in this video for you so you understand exactly what it takes to go out and make a fortune in uh, flipping properties in your spare time. So thank you again for watching these series and I will talk to you in the next module coming up where we're gonna start digging in to exactly how to do this business. Take care and God bless.